So they believed the Europeans were descended from one son of Noah, the Africans from another son, the, Europe, the Chinese Orientals from a third son, and explained the very different characteristics of the people of the world. But off comes Columbus bringing these people from North America and they don't look like Europeans, they don't look like Africans, and they don't look like Orientals. They have a completely different skin tone and facial structure. For years, a debate raged, are these people even human beings? They were so tied into their perceptions that they couldn't even conceive that these were human beings. Now, it became obvious they were, they could learn languages, they sang songs, they were highly intelligent. So the church, who was the intellectual leaders of the day, had to figure out what are we gonna do with this? Uh, now, they didn't understand modern genetics. They didn't understand that a wide variety of people could come out of a single set of parents and their children can look very, very different. And there's no problem at all explaining North Americans as having been one of the sons of Noah. But they didn't understand this. So what they did was make a tiny little change in scripture, what they thought was a tiny change. They ignored what it actually said about a world covering flood. The change they made was to start teaching that the flood talked about in the Bible was not a global worldwide flood, but a little local event. And these people from North America simply didn't live in the area where the flood happened. And that's why they look so different. Here are more videos to watch if you found this one interesting. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, please click this button or visit our website by clicking this button here.